we didn't quite get the whole video of the goats, totally forgot about it. Now we're unloading seed. Well, we're over to the other farm now, doing some seeding. Didn't get the sheep locked up before we started though. Well, we're watching sheep. As you can see here, got, it's getting quite a bit done. It's supposed to rain tonight and tomorrow too, so that'll be nice. Got a 26 foot drill, looks like I get her done pretty quick. Yeah, he seeded down a bunch at home too, so that'll be interesting to see how that goes. That went in awry. I'll have to show you a video on what that looks like. Well, we're back. It's about a week later. Haven't been exactly getting my videos out very good lately, but it is what it is, you know. Uh, with April's passing and everything, it's been a little different trying to adjust and get used to the new normal. Uh, right now we're, we're actually setting up netting and stuff, getting ready to move sheep to the back end. We're gonna do this for the first time with the flock. So it'll be interesting. There's a lot of multi-floor rows and stuff in the woods that they can chew on. Lots of good grass that's coming. So we're ready to start the rotation with them only have two hay bales left so we're just going to save those for later and start grazing so then checking fence and cutting trees off and making sure it's nice and hot getting the barbed wire all off it wherever that was touching it and we're just about ready to go here it's got a few more nets to put up and got to get the water line finished too yet we're just got to put the couplers back together where we open it up and drain it out for winter time because otherwise if we would have left them together it would have frozen broke our line so yeah a little bit of everything i'll also have to show you our seeding that we did at home on the farm there too so stay tuned hey everyone jordan meyer Holson family farms it's the next day here um, just starting to move the sheep to the back end. This could get a little interesting. Yeah, we normally run them from the yard, you know, if you've watched our latest videos from last year and stuff, running cattle, we'd always run them down here, and then they take that trail all the way down there, and we're going back to that bluff back there. First time ever doing it with a flock of sheep. Right here we have this wire all kind of down right now, so we, I'm standing here guarding it, Rochelle's in the back, pushing them, and Rusty's back there too, obviously, and we're gonna try to get it moved. Yeah, I just got off the phone with Rochelle, and she says there's a lot of babies back there that were in the old paddock there, and you know how it goes with a bunch of young ones that are dumb and <laughs> have no leader, so they're trying to get them back with the rest of the flock, and I guess it's a struggle, but they're working on it. So meanwhile, I'm staying here so these guys don't meander back on this hillside. We're supposed to take them down on the logging road that way and back, so stay tuned. Yeah, Rochelle called me up wanting me to go over there to help her move the sheep, and I'm like, you're doing too much work. You gotta use the dog for that. And she's like, you don't listen to me. And I'm, then I, then he seen me and I started commanding him from over here. Now, now I got some action. Come on, guys. Yeah, we don't want you going through here. Back up, come on. Come on back. Well, we got the dogs leading. Here we go. <laughs> this will be interesting. We got a lot of multi-floor rows and stuff in the woods here too, so it'll be interesting to see what these guys will do compared to what the goats do. We do have a whopping 10 head of goats in here though, so. <laughs> The paddock sizes that these guys are going to need, though, are going to be not giving you much credit to the goats. And then the wire that's there, that was set up for cattle, so these guys are just sneaking right under it. Come on, guys. Come on. See, that doesn't even touch it. 
Come on. Sorry. Skipper's just down there waiting for him. Like, Come on, sheep. I know where to go. Rusty's been working his tail off. And of course, these sheep don't know don't know a call yet. Literally haven't had to move them at all because we've been feeding them hay for the whole time we've had them. So, Boy, they don't move very fast. I've seen a couple of goats running on top of logs and stuff down there, but yeah, the goats are hammering brush and sheep are just like, what are we doing? Some of them are eating and nibbling on it, but at least they're not running all over the place. It's just going to take some time to get them back there. Oh man, I'm winded. I ran up and around all these guys. Dogs are leading them beautifully. I'll see if the sheep will respect it or not. Wow, look at that. Working out right like I wanted it to. Can't believe it. Sheep gotta catch up though. The dogs are going too fast. Yeah, they literally followed the dogs right through there. Skipper! Wait up, buddy. You wait. gotta wait for the rest of them. Yep, they're waiting. Here the sheep come. Hopefully they find them. Skipper! Skipper, come here, boy. Come here, boy. Good boy. Now, wait for your sheep. Gotta wait for them. They're coming. They're coming. You gotta be patient. Boy, sure is nice to have somebody that let them. I didn't even think that that was gonna happen seen them lead the goats and stuff before but it's like clockwork right now oh boy this is going way better than planned <laughs> good boy you got skipper ella and cotton i'm the only three guard dogs on this farm don't you dare start that you get with the rest of the fallen line thank you Bellerin for get with the rest of them. They're going. They're going. Doing a little munching on the way. Hopefully they'll see the dogs. Skipper! Skipper gotta wait. They're in the ditch. They can't see him. They're coming. They're coming. There we go. Yep, keep waiting for him, Skip. You're doing good. Skip's way up there and they're down in the hole right now so they can't quite see him yet. <laughs> Hopefully Skip will start running once they're coming. He's a good boy. There we go. Is he gonna turn around and start going again? Can't really say anything. Yep. Look at that. He's already facing the other direction. He's ready to go. There he goes. And there goes Ella. Awesome. Good job, dogs. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. This is going 100 times better than I planned. These sheep, they don't know how to call them, you know, like into the next paddock. I've never done that before with them. We've just been doing wintertime feeding since we got them in February. And yeah, the dogs are the leaders. They saved us. Big time. Boy, they're coming pretty good. I better get up to the next point though. There's another spot way up there that they could go left. I do not want that happening. I know the dogs will probably go the right way, but it'll be very tempting for the sheep to say, ah, I'm gonna take a left. So I'm gonna get up there, see what we can do. Sheep are right, they're heading right up the hill. Good deal. At this point, I'm gonna go back and see what those guys are up to if they're gonna need help. Well, we're getting the tail enders here. There's so many lambs in the back end that Rochelle and Will had to have help getting them. They're getting pretty well scattered. <laughs> Lots of chaos. Wonder what the rest of them are doing up on top of the hill if they just stayed there and started grazing. A lot of these girls are pretty tired out. There's a lot of lambs too that literally just lay down and started taking a rest. They were tired. They like multiple rows. That's perfect. We have plenty. Oh, 
We'll be able to utilize these guys in the woods quite a bit too. That'll be nice. And no, we're not doing a full turnout. We left the gate open right there. I sent Rusty on his way to go round him up. We'll see what happens. Rusty's got him coming back. The dogs are still leading him there. He's bringing him. Ah, oh, that dog. I owe him a lot. That's a million dollar dog. Things can be much more relaxing when you have a good border collie. They do a lot of work for you. That is for sure. Oops, sorry. Kind of looking at the stars there. Yeah, went better than we thought. That's for sure. Now I got to finish fixing the water line. I disconnected it in a lot of places and it goes about on this farm from the yard all the way to where we quit. It's about 1.8 miles of water line through all that woods and all the way back here and follows the fence line and goes way over that way. So, boy, if you guys were here right now and just walking through here and all the beautiful smells and everything, man, oh man, oh man, it's pretty nice. All the apple trees and plum trees and stuff that are blossoming, it's, it's a very nice aroma. I apologize for the wind too, it's kind of hard to deal with sometimes, but yep, just out here enjoying God's beautiful creation. Here comes Ellen Skipper. Rusty's bringing them back where they belong. Sorry, guys. You did a great job of leading them, though. I sure appreciate that. There's Cotton. Skip. Ella. And Rusty. Doing his thing. And then Lady. Doing her thing. <laughs> she's got her place, but she's good at pushing. Like in the beginning when we were bringing all the sheep, she was definitely helping out there and when they're all congested right there when we first started going down that first hill she was barking and everything else so it worked out pretty good probably only lost about a quarter of them to, to the starting to head to the back end part of it Probably didn't even need to walk out here, but figured I might as well. Grass isn't what it should be yet. I don't know, it's it's close. Forecast looks good. There's a common yarrow coming up. gate set up there and sheep are all up here now we're gonna boy you guys are hard on will we're gonna have some lunch I guess the dogs want to eat with us too well I'm back here putting our water line together and this is the third one that this has happened to this year already I think from now on I'm going to be taking off every one of them things wherever I got to disconnect it and bring it home. So, yeah, it's kind of not very salvageable. So, I don't know what's doing the damage on there if it's a coon or coyote or something, but nice little chew toys for him. Well, we got all the way to the back end here and didn't have a an end coupler in here all I had was inline tees <clears throat> so that didn't work and ended up being five of these things that got chewed on I 
guess I won't be leaving them out here anymore next year. Before I would just take these quick couplers out of the the T that's on there and never had any bad luck doing it that way, but I don't know if I'll go back to that and then just bring these home with me or what, but we're not gonna do that again. So Rochelle's on her way back. Luckily she had a couple hose clamps that were in the Ranger. This one here doesn't reach. So hopefully hers do. And then I've had these two pieces in there that I was able to put together. So that should be it. Then the water line should be all together at least. Sheep are way back there. Well, we got the water line done. Now we're actually picking up nets from the feeding paddock here. We actually got it all seated there as you seen earlier. Last week, it's been about a week. So it'll be coming up here really soon. We got rain on it and everything else too. So things are looking good. A few more nets to pick up. And we'll see you in the next one. Hey everybody. We're over at my home farm here. We're setting up some nets along the road. Grass looks good. We're gonna give the goats this big chunk. Um, we're gonna be planting the orchard this weekend. So we figured it makes sense to give the goats a big area so we don't have to worry about moving goats, moving sheep and planting a bunch of trees. The goats are kidding. I see we got a set of twins over there. So we're gonna let them into this new paddock. Right now we have a few couplers to put in couple more nets to set up but I think they'll stay in um, even though we don't have all the nets set up they do have the high tensile fence so I don't think they'll bother it too much are you excited are you excited the dogs are excited okay Oh, we got all kinds of kids coming up the hill here. We got another set of twins coming up the hill there. And then that mom way back there, she's got some babies too. So we'll leave the fence open and then hopefully everybody will just kind of work themselves in here. I'm actually surprised we don't have more kids on the ground yet, but Everybody's happy to be out, that's for sure. Come on, puppies! Come on, puppies! 